long does it take for a coach to get over a game like that? <sighs> I think it always sticks in your mind. Um, it was a long plane ride back and a long night where I really didn't sleep very well. Uh, when you play in a game like that and you give so many points, it's just, you're just wondering what happened. So don't want it to happen again, but uh, you know we definitely made some adjustments and, and talked about things we could do better. So what do you do to make sure that doesn't happen again? <sighs> <laughs> just try to execute, you know, have a good game plan, um, put the guys in position to make plays, and just really rely on execution. Speaking when of that, uh, Miles Garrett comes out and says yeah. there weren't uh, in-game adjustments, how, yeah. how do you react? Well, <clears throat> I heard that. I mean, I talked to Miles coming off the field at halftime, and I've seen him since. You know, we haven't had that conversation. But uh, in the first half of the game, I think the first series, we got him to third and eight, third and seven, and third and 13. So when those things happen, you feel like you're doing good. Um, then they had the one play series, and then the next series we got them to three third downs again. I think third and one, third and five, third and nine. So we were getting them in manageable situations. We just weren't able to get off the field. Um, at halftime, um, we didn't have as much time as we normally have because uh, we had to talk about so many things, defensively try to fix it. Uh, but there was a couple things that I said I wanted to do in the second half, and I called them the first series, and we went three and out. So. You know, I think when you lose that way, everybody's trying to figure out what happened. As coaches, as players, uh, we just got to make sure we work together, communicate, and, and get things fixed. Is, so, is that something that you kind of wish Miles would have said to you privately as opposed to airing down? Yeah, that stuff doesn't really bother me. I mean, if you have, if there's anything that's on your mind that you want to come talk to me, the guys know I'm there. You know what I mean? And like I said, I talked to Miles coming off the field at halftime when we were walking in together, and he's like, you know, what do you think? So we had a conversation going in. Um, so, I'll be there, you know, again, any, any player has questions, just come see me. Well, that's got to be disappointing then. What? After the game, he says, we didn't make any adjustments, and you talked to him about adjustments. Yeah, no, it's it's just one of those things, you know what I mean? I mean, they made a lot of plays on us, especially in the second half, because in the first half, we got them to third down, we weren't able to get off the field. In the second half, we only got them to two third downs. So, it was just really like two different games in terms of what happened. Um, but again, when you get beat like that, everybody's looking for what, what went wrong. So did you have to make any lineup changes? No, no. I mean, everything just in terms of guys' health, obviously we got to get some guys back and get them healthy. But no, we'll move forward with the same guys. You played a little bit with Toby on? Yes. That game? Yes. More playing time for him? Yes. We're going to continue to bring him along. He's a young guy, but uh, he's still learning. But he plays with a lot of effort. Um, you can see him running to the ball out there, and he'll prove in the areas he needs to. But I think he has a bright future with us. Is Miles back I know, today? I know. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is Miles back today? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, you talked about third downs, especially yeah. in that first half. And it looked to me like you tried to do different things on yeah. third down. So yeah. what was the problem? You know, I I think the one thing is, and this made for myself as a coordinator, you feel like you want to put the players in a perfect call. So you know, I look at tape. Just study, study, study. But in reality, you just try to put them in the best call and rely on them um, to, to make plays. So I think for me, I just have to realize that because um, I feel like I can do a better job just in terms of our third down menu. Um, you know, because going into it, we, we had the little mini buy, and I think the last three games were our, one of our, were our best three games in terms of third down, Denver, Pittsburgh, and Cincinnati. And for us to drop off like that, this, this caught me. But I think I can definitely do a better job. But Joe, I know a lot of what you do is game specific. Yeah. But you've been aggressive some weeks and not so the others. Why yeah. has it been so difficult to kind of find an identity for this defense? Well, I think our identity is being multiple. You know, because now, just like you said, they don't know what they're going to get. And, you know, the game plan, because you play against different schemes and there's different matchups. So when, you, when your game plan is like, who do we have to take away? What do we have to stop? And then how we're going to do it. So it'll change slightly week to week. It won't be pressure all the time. It won't be zone all the time. Um, I just really believe in the mix. The Lions have committed to the run. It's so obvious that that's where yeah. they're going. How is it difficult then to prepare for the pass? be honest with you, it's kind of like you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, when you look at the first uh, eight games in a the breakdown, they're definitely different than they were against Pittsburgh. But that doesn't mean that they're going to be the same way against us. So you have to have a menu where you feel like you can handle multiple things. If they want to run it a bunch, then we have to have enough calls where we can stop the run. If they want to come out and throw it, we have to be able to do things to stop that as well. So 
a little more in the package, but we'll just have to fill it out as the game progresses. So, Joe, I think you started off by saying you are making adjustments, but you yeah. said no lineup changes. Yeah. So what are those uh, adjustments? No, it's we went back and just looked at everything, obviously from that game, and then things that we were doing uh, earlier, you know, specifically on third and fourth down. And you just go back and look at the things that you did well, and you look at when you didn't have success, what were the reasons behind it. And there's multiple things. And I always start with myself as a coordinator. Um, I believe that. How can I fix myself? How can I put the guys in a, in a better position? So from that standpoint, down to what we're calling, down to the players, you know, eliminating penalties or executing better, we looked at it all and just made some slight adjustments in terms of what we're going to do coverage-wise. Hey, Joe, you've got guys that can get after the quarterback. Get yeah. That, like, why are you not forcing more turnovers? This you know, it's just one of those things. It's, it's just weird. I mean, we're you got our PBUs are up. But the, ter- the takeaways aren't there. And we pride ourselves in wanting to turn the, turn the ball over and take it away. It just hasn't happened. Um, Cincinnati happened in bunches. But we definitely need to get more. Um, you know, that's how you win games. That's how you change games in this league. And uh, we definitely have to be better in that area. How do you get better in that area? It's just making the plays when they come your way. You know, we had opportunities, you know, where some of those PBUs you want them to turn into interceptions. You know, when a guy's rushing, he gets a sack. You really want it to be a sack fumble. So we just have to keep pressing it. Uh, we chart those things in practice every day. Uh, really talk to the guys about how can we get better at uh, taking the ball away. Is, is any part of that scheme where you do some different things to try to get no. some opportunities? No, I think in general, just over the years, I've been in different schemes, you want guys to see the ball, right? But how much zone do you play compared to let's get tight and rush guys? Because you make um, – have more PBUs and interceptions when your backs to the ball. So that's why I try to mix both, you know, so we can see the ball and then we get in tight coverage and force them to make a, a, a tight throw. Coming off a game like that, fans want to blame you. And, and yeah. my, my question is, you know, that's obviously the easy thing, yeah. but are, yeah. are you getting the execution? Like you can't go out there and make the tackles. You can't go out right. there and hit the right. lanes and right. et cetera. So are, are, are your guys doing what you're asking of them consistently enough? And if they're not, at this point of the season, because yeah. you're so deep, how do you rectify that and get it get it more consistent? Yeah. First of all, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself to make sure that the game plan is right. So I'm not saying I blame myself, but I always look at my look in the mirror first. And then whenever I grade a tape, as I'm grading the players, I grade myself. So number one, I always look at myself and what can I do better. From a player standpoint, it's, it's the NFL. I mean, there's good players on both sides of the ball. The guys are going out there and trying to execute, but you're not going to make every play. So as coaches, and I have a really good coaching staff, we try to address all the issues that show up, correct all the mistakes. Um, you know, we look at ourselves, we uh, self-scout ourselves every week, and then we try to run those plays and practice that we've gotten from teams where we haven't had success. So. Um, Consistency, yes, but it's just, it's just hard in this league because there's good players on both sides of the ball. Hey, Joe, when you talk about your philosophy being uh, yeah. a multiple yeah. offense, is it harder to find consistency when that's what you're doing? No, because it's all together. So it's, you know, whatever you're doing, you might present a look to a team, but you might run three deep, you might run quarters, you right, might run man or zone pressure. So it's all within the system. It's not like... Four three going to three four, so it's within the system. It's, we want to be multiple in what we're doing. Joe, they've had issues getting the ball to their wideouts. Yeah. What are they doing with Hodge? Haven't seen him use them much. Uh, I don't know. It's, I mean, I, they're probably figuring it out. I mean, uh, with coach taking over the play calling duties, um, they're probably trying to figure out what their best com- combination of players are, with whether it's receivers, tight ends. Sometimes they put two backs on the field. So I don't I don't know what they're doing. I see him out there, but you don't see him out there much, though. Do you? Yeah, yeah, it's not. A yeah, they have a. Uh, there's a couple wideouts. You can see they're moving them around, playing different positions, especially the last game. But uh, they are using multiple guys. Hey, Joe, Joe, you, you talked about the you know the Super Bowl teams you've been with. The camaraderie yeah. is, is the number one thing. Yes. Do you feel the unity and togetherness with you, your staff, the players? I mean, coming off a loss like that, you're saying the frustration mounts, but. What is it like behind the scenes? Yeah, I think absolutely. Um, there's definitely, you feel the chemistry, you feel the family, um, the brotherhood. And, you know, I so said we came off of three games where we were playing better. 
Um, I think Denver, like I said, 14 points, Pittsburgh 15, 16. So everybody was feeling good. Um, guys are communicating, working well together. It's just one of those games. I mean, you hate for it to happen, but it was one of those games where we just didn't play well. John, so were the issues versus the run against hmm? New, the issues versus the run against New England? Yeah, were they the same issues that you had against Pittsburgh? No, uh, some of them. Yeah. You know, if you saw the reverses. Like we gave up a lot of yardage on the reverses. Um, so there are teams that are copying, and that's what you do. Um, everybody, we always say it's a copycat league, but you go back and you say what teams had success against you, and you you put it in. Um, for us, I can't predict. Like I like to predict when they're going to run a screen or a reverse. You have to rely on guys executing their responsibility and their job, whatever you call. And uh, we just we weren't good on so, Sunday. Joe, you said so along those lines. I mean, John Johnson yeah. said that you felt like they just kind of went back and watched everything that the yeah. against you guys. Yeah. Over and over again. Yeah. I mean, is that sort of what you saw? Yeah, and some of the stuff we stopped, you know, but obviously the reverses, they did a good job scheming us up in terms of how they did it. But everybody does it. You know, every week you're watching the game, like, oh man, they copied that from this team, or they copied that from that team. But uh, we try to eliminate those plays, and we work those way, those plays into practice every week. Uh, we again, we just didn't do a good job stopping it. And, and just one, just one more Miles question. Yeah. I mean, do you believe Miles is just speaking for himself, or do you think he was speaking for other people? I really don't know. You know, I mean, I have a great relationship with Miles. Um, you know, he has a respect to all the players on defense. Um, there's nothing going on within the building, anything of that nature. I said, I talked to him. I talked to him today. So everything's good. Uh, again, it's just frustrating losing the way we did. Joe, a few days removed from that game now, I guess, with how much success the Patriots were able to have on the ground against you guys, yeah. what are some of the adjustments that you think need to get better going this week now? Just really execution. Everybody doing their job. We threw multiple things at them. And, again, it was more – said like reverses, perimeter runs. They hit us inside a couple times. But it's just everybody just doing their job. And it's up to me to put them in the right calls where they can have success based on what people are trying to do. How's Troy Hills doing? Have you talked to him? Uh, Troy, you know, he's still recovering. Um, you know, he played hard. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you saw at the end he went down. Uh, hopefully get him back soon. When you're making your game plan, obviously you have to take into account the players that are injured or little Batted up and you had Jeremiah Lucicormo come yeah. back from injury. Mm -hmm. uh, he said he wasn't really aware that he was on a pitch count. Would you say he was, and is that going to ramp up this week? Yeah, it's just more of a pitch count where, like, if he's out there and he's struggling, then we would have took him off the field. But we tried to use a little bit of a rotation just to get him through much of the game, as much of the game as we could. Um, moving forward this week, I feel like he's a little bit healthier, so we'll let him go and see what he can do. Joe, how was Awesome. Great guy, baby Yui. Uh, this is a real success story, and I'm really happy for him um, just because of everything he went through and where he's at now. And I really, I think he's only going to get better. With the way the Lions use their running backs and tight ends so much, how much of a challenge is that for your linebackers? Um, they create some matchup issues because those guys are really good receivers. Um, so they're, they're good in space just in terms of making guys miss. Tight end has great length. Uh, the back, again, he's extremely quick, and they've used multiple backs. You know, against Pittsburgh, they went off, you know, just different guys just in terms of the yardage they had. So um, it's definitely going to be uh, something we're going to have to be aware of just in terms of the matchups, but there's multiple things that we can do um, if it becomes a problem. Did Tree Hill, uh, Hill happen when he hit his head on the ground? Is that what it was? I don't I, – I do not know. You know, I saw the contact, you know, basically on the, the hip of the uh, receiver. Um, and then he went down, he saw him roll over. So I don't know exactly how it happened. Uh, I'm just happy that it wasn't something serious. Who named him Baby Huey? <laughs> I had a little bit to do with that. But he said, you know, at Michigan State they called him that too. But he's just, you know, he's a dude that can go in the weight room and probably put 500 pounds on the bar with no warm-up and lift it, you know. So he just has that strength. But, again, he's done a great job, and he's been a great addition to our team.